稍稍挑战心情，穿着雨天，气所配对，在最懒散的氛围，当选择歌曲步调随节奏所定位，少了灵感，不如忘了那些词句琐碎，就离开家，漫无目的为他环绕，梧桐之影也有丝丝阳光洒在街道，这几十年看一切都在变。然而置身于此浮现出的感觉较亲切，如今不起眼的角落，不经意的回望，童年和谁玩耍的画面跟着回放。而此刻他们在哪？是否和我一样，闲暇假日里的时光就随它流淌？耶，大口吐吸着空气，久违的散步像是放了数千年的压抑，交替着视觉，在逃离四面白墙的监狱之后，就跟我一起吹吹风。哦、嗯。又止步在哪个红灯口？看人流奔走，徐徐的风摇曳着枝叶，也轻抚我领口，继续前行。眼光定位在谁的身上打量，见上表情对他们的人生展开想象，也有和少女擦肩，在四目相对瞬间，一见钟情的爱随着错过而湮灭。嘿、hey、girl， 跟我走吧。就忘了脑中无聊且又浪漫情节，当我也融入这片街景，高楼都成了缩影，一副日常下午的画卷却是别致清醒。蜻蜓，城市的呼吸也难得平静，写进我的曲目，伴随着它的余音。啊、嗯，日出日又落，而最温暖的感受从未消失过，留有最后一份惬意。在回家的路上，若你也想吹吹风，请记得把这首歌播放。How have you found the style of instruction slash teaching during your stay at HIT?、Um, it was pretty intensive, so class would be、uh, about three and a half hours long every day, but only in the morning time. So that was really really nice because in the afternoon、I、had a lot of free time, and although the class was intensive, we got lots of breaks in between, so it really gave us some time to like rest and just absorb all the information. I really like it because they just kind of throw you in. Like everything is in Chinese, so it forces you to actually listen in class. Otherwise, you won't understand anything. So you really have to try, and I think that's a good learning environment. They really focus on how to use the Chinese character and Chinese word in the sentence.、Mm. Uh, how have you found living in the dorms? Oh,、uh, dorm. I think it's yeah, I could say dirty, but、uh, we have、uh, and we don't have AC that. Other people also say, but I mean, you can get used to it. Probably,、mm. yeah, it's gonna be. Yeah, the dorms. I can't lie; they're not up to my personal standards. Um, it is rough, but I think it's just part of the experience. Uh, honestly, with、uh, with my personal experience, it hasn't been bad at all. Uh, I've lucked out with having a good roommate. My bathroom situation, thankfully, has been good. I've heard horror stories from other people, but uh, I've uh, thankfully、uh, I've lucked out in that area. Oh, the dorms not bad. My roommates are really nice.、Uh, it wasn't hard to get electricity and water and all those things, and the services are.、Okay. Live in the dorms. It was surprise at first, but for me, I got used to it in a week. And if you don't like your dorms, they always allow you to change it too. So you should be fine.、Uh, how do you like Harbin and the general lifestyle during your time in mainland China? Harbin is very different city. I think it's very unique because there's a European architecture mixed into it. So you kind of be in the different、um, what do you call it? The environment.、Um, I was really happy because food is really cheap, 
and yeah, it was fun. <laughs> um, I think Harbin itself is just really cool. Um, it's a lot different than Canada because there's just like a lot of people. Um, people kind of look at you if you look a little different, but I think that is also really cool because they just want to like talk to you and they're just curious and and then they get to ask you questions and you get to practice your Chinese. Um, other than that, like the lifestyle is really like hustle and bustle, like let's get this party started kind of thing. Um, and I really like that energy. So China's awesome. Uh, if you had another opportunity to do this program over again, would you? Fun fact, it's already my second time here. <laughs> and yes, if I could come back again, I would. Wow. Uh, actually, I came here last year, so it's my second time. The reason why I came here again this year is also, you know, it's because it's fun. So I recommend if you like, just come here again. Mm. Yeah. Would you? I, guess, yeah. I would definitely do this program over again, yes. What if I want to say no? <laughs> you can say no. Oh. Um, but you have to say why. Oh dang, let me think about it. Actually, yeah, I think I would do this program again just because it was a really good experience. It's really nice to experience like studying abroad but not having to be away from home for too long. Yes. Yes, why? I would. Why? Because it's fun. You make a lot of friends. Uh, learning is it's pretty hard because it's kind of intensive, very intensive. That's the whole name of it. Uh, but but it's, it's, really, it's really good. It's worth it, I think. Yes. And what's one good or positive thing and one bad or negative thing you wish you were told before you came to HIT? Okay, good, positive thing. Everything really cheap. <laughs> I could have right. bought more things. I don't know, is that positive? Yeah, yeah. that's positive. That's positive, I could have bought more things. Negative, uh, 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 shoes. There we go, I have big shoe size, so. If my shoes broke, I would have been screwed, but my shoes didn't break, so I'm fine. That's a negative. Oh, I think one good thing is that, like, you don't realize that you'll have all this extra time to, like, um, do kind of the things you actually want. So I think for my first time coming, if someone had told me, like, oh, you could do, like, weekend trips and stuff, then maybe I would have planned a little bit better, where you can, like, actually go and travel more around China if you wanted to. Um, something bad. Like, they really should have told me it was going to be this hot. Um, <laughs> I feel like I did, repeatedly. But I feel like I wasn't listening those times. Okay. And so, it was actually your fault. Okay, uh, the best thing I found out coming here was uh, they really treat foreigners when you go out. So, <laughs> free, <laughs> free drinks, uh, free food. Can't complain. Um, okay, I, I need to think about this for a sec. Okay, one good thing is like, I wish that I, okay, two things. I wish that I knew how many friends I would be making from other countries. Um, and then number two is uh, bringing like something from Canada that I can give to them, mm. like to the teachers or the, or like the other students from other countries, because it's kind of cool to, to be able to give them something as like a token of appreciation and like a token of friendships so that they can remember you. What's a bad thing? Um, okay. Uh, let me think. Oh. It gets real hot real fast and gets Hold real on. humid. Okay, we'll wait for that. It's so slow. You know, we were literally talking in class today about how people are can be very slow sometimes. Case in point. Yeah. All right, so yeah, what's the bad thing? Okay, um, it can get really hot really, really fast, uh, and the weather is literally all over the place. And, like, my recommendation for that is don't bring a lot of clothes. You can buy a lot. Okay, this is all over the place. I don't know it's what fine. I want to no, say. No, no, you're saying it. Like, okay. the weather's really fucked up, so you don't you, bring too many clothes. Yeah, don't Save bring it. too many clothes because you can just buy whatever else you need. You don't need an umbrella because you can buy an umbrella here with SPF inside of it. And I think that that's really handy because you're going to need an umbrella because the sun is just really strong sometimes. And sometimes it's raining like it is right now. Um, and I wish I had, like, some kind of, like, small, like, raincoat. Um, some places have air conditioning, so you might feel cold. Some places don't have air conditioning. So it's kind of all over the place. You don't really know how to feel. Um, so... Prepare for that. Don't bring a lot, but like bring just enough to survive and then buy anything else you need.